I ain't trying to bring you down, but for real, you might as well give up now. Think you got a chance, but I don't see how. Got a real tight grip when I hold that crown. My life been good and bad and all around. The more things I lost, the more I found. One thing I taught myself to do, no matter the problem, refuse to lose. So, how you want it, man? You can choose. What's up, guys? Back for part two of the Smoky Mountain 500. Um, so we came back for a second time. Last time we tackled the red section for the GPX files. Uh, today we ended up trailing the bike up here and then running the yellow section, so more of the North Carolina, Tennessee side of it. Um, we didn't run the entire trail today just due to the recent I guess hurricane tropical storm that's kind of blown over through the Gulf uh, earlier this week and not being able to not unsure of the down trees and mud and lower area of the mud situations um, we've, we've had to kind of change the route today and end up only doing kind of running the eastern portion northeastern portion all the way to about Bald River Waterfall is about where I call it a day today. Um, I guess just got a late start. Getting here at 9.30 and then trying to take photos and stuff. End up not not really tracking much of the, the routes fast enough to, I would say, finish them one day. So I just ended up calling a day and uh, just trying to make it more relaxed. Uh, but you can see from the videos of what I did earlier, that it was actually a pretty good day, even though it was, there 
was a lot of reports of major flooding in Helen, Georgia, up in the Talia National Forest area. Uh, but it was it was fairly dry with just a little dampness. It just killed killed all the dust. So we had zero dust on the trails, which was fantastic. It was actually very ideal. Um, from the tropical storm that probably came through Monday, Tuesday, today Saturday. Uh, I would say they pretty much cleared all the trees that were down on the trail, so I it was not an issue whatsoever. There was one tree about halfway through up in the northern, northwestern portion. Um, it was about a good 22 inch diameter tree, 24 inch, and it, there's no way I would, could have moved it. So what we ended up doing was just kind of piling some wood. You can see here that we piled some wood and just whiskey throttle that shit and just try to hop over. Never done that before. Um, thought I'd give it a try. Uh, I, I guess I usually see other more experienced riders try to jump trees and stuff, but I wasn't about to backtrack all the way just because of the tree. So I ended up building a little ramp, whiskey throttling over, and then end up in the ditch, which is where very soft mud. It's very soft mud, so we ended up kind of spinning out in there and got it out. So eventually, we kind of make track, but that was, that was a very interesting uh, obstacle to get through. Uh, I did have a fall earlier. I was trying to backtrack, take some photos, and I ended up getting off the main gravel path into some mud. And literally, as soon as that front tire just went in, the whole thing just went down on the left side. Um, some guys stop right there and then uh, if didn't need any help, I was able to get that one to clean up. Just do your typical back to the seat, you know, just lift the legs, and I'll get back with your legs and uh, came up easy peasy after that. It's really just kind of a balancing issue, just making sure the tires are still bite and not slip around the mud. So overall the the trip has been just fantastic today. Cover a lot of miles, not the whole thing though, but uh, end up end up booking this Airbnb at uh, 129 Cabins, which is actually a motorcycle uh, resort hotel. Uh, pretty neat. Came comes with your own little garage for your motorcycle to park at night. Plenty of rooms for a truck and trailer. Um, I can't say much, but I just I just checked in literally like 20 minutes ago, so it's a very open floor plan, very open. Two, two, bin, two queen beds, pretty uh, spacious area, I can't complain, especially for the price around here. Uh, so yeah, that was, uh, this was, was the second leg of the Smoky Mountain 500. Uh, I can't say if I will ever will tackle the green section on the west, the western side of all the, the loop. Uh, just not much time left out here in Georgia. So, I was able to squeeze this trip in this last second. Um, yeah. Driving after twin. Like it, follow, and subscribe.